The Evil Dead 1981 slasher film, it's the feature that got Sam Raimi his big break. It was made by him and a couple of his high school friends, including Bruce Campbell who plays the lead role, and it spawned a long-running franchise of multiple movies, a musical, a television series, and I think there's also a video game. The first film was made on a tiny budget and it was a very troubled production. Uh, apparently multiple people got injured in various ways, some of the crew had to live in an abandoned cabin during the shoot uh, and there was a very harsh winter at the time so they needed to actually burn the furniture uh, for heat towards the end of the shoot. Loads of crazy stories. Uh, also apparently the franchise which has grown to be a bit of a cult classic is mostly known for being a mixture of horror and comedy but this first film is pretty much a straight horror without any comedic undertones in fact it resembles the original texas chainsaw massacre in a lot of ways uh, not the least the budget and the the production quality anyway the story follows a group of young friends who travel to a secluded cabin in tennessee to spend some time away drink and have fun but they discover a magical book of evil and the incantations within awaken a demonic presence that begins to haunt and possess our heroes so pretty standard premise for a horror film uh, pretty standard types of scares and scenes I know that the film was praised quite a lot for its originality back in 1981 but by now it has aged quite a lot uh, the low budget and low experience of the people involved also means that on the one hand you have pretty ingenious things like the camera moving through the woods on a plank carried by the director to, to put us in the viewpoint of this evil entity or the cool makeup for the possessed actors or the stop motion sequence towards the end. On the other hand though the acting and the blocking of the shots leaves a lot to be desired um, there are many goofs in the film some of the special effects are very visibly low budget uh, the performances are rather stiff most significantly though there are some glaring pacing issues uh, the movie is only 85 minutes long but it feels much longer and i think that's because the start is pretty quick and then the characters start to get possessed one after another and by the time we're left with just Ash, I was conditioned to think, okay, well, this is the final act, right? One character left, the movie ends soon. But it just then keeps going and going and going, seemingly reusing the same monsters he defeated already and, and recycling the scares. So I didn't particularly like it, I'm afraid. I, I think some of the other horror classics uh, of the old days are much better despite also being aged significantly. Uh, the Evil Dead for me was just another low-budget D-movie that doesn't really offer much to today's audiences.